All right, guys, well, I'm just doing some cleaning here. I'm having friends over for uh, pulled pork dinner tonight. I got quite a bit to do here. Uh, my neighbors, Nikki and um, Donald and his kids, as well as uh, Nikki's uh, sister and her brother-in-law and their son are coming over for pulled pork and uh, their farmhand as well. Uh, it's Marvin. Uh, that's uh, my neighbor uh, Donald's uh, the guy that works with him. He's from Nicaragua, so he's coming over and uh, we're gonna have some uh, good times. So uh, I just got the table cleaned off. I gotta get the rest of this place cleaned off. As you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Just moving, moving in here, getting things on to go. Uh, I got uh, some uh, other the flooring that I gotta put in, or I guess the Colin's gonna put in there. Uh, he's gonna put it here. I had bought flooring from the store, uh, for the store, uh, from one of my uh, one of my um, vendors, I guess suppliers, and uh, he gave me a really good deal on it. So I'm gonna be putting it in here. I put it in the bedrooms already. So, but I'm just gonna go check the uh, the chickens. I kind of uh, it's really windy out today, like super windy out today, like crazy windy out today, like crazy windy out today it's like super duper windy and there was a windstorm yesterday yesterday night there's a warning for that now it's today so um i'm sort of bunkering up the chicken coop got lots of eggs today i've got a total of uh 12 13 14 15 16 and i left one in there for the chicken to sit on for a bit so that's 17 there'll be a few more yet today so let's go check it out hear that wind roar the wind is just like howling Brought a load of water too. Uh, my neighbor and I went out, so we got that little tank in the, in the lawn there, so we can get through the window. The snow gonna be closed up right away. And there's the chicken coop. I just kind of put bracing around it. The chickens are like look pretty cold. I'm gonna make a little bonnets for the back of them. Some of them are losing their their feathers on the back because the other ones are picking at them. So. So anyways, let's go in here. I gotta do a little bit of measuring and make some uh, make some boxes for them so they can lay their eggs in peace. So if I, this one here is just sort of, I can think she's getting really out of the way. Like, uh, some of them are laughing chickens. You can hear them. Noises. Okay, so I'm just to take a measure. Okay, there you go. Let's get in the right now. So we can do about 42. 42 on the outside. Pardon the, uh, yeah, there's that egg in the corner there. Let's go through there. It's going to get these guys out. I'm going to make some nesting boxes here. Mine, my. Crappy camel work right now. So I got about 43 on this side. 42 and 43, so that's good. So, is she laying an egg? No, she's just building a nest. Alright. She hasn't laid any eggs yet. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, she's not laying. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of here, leave them in peace. Forty-two and forty-three. That I'm not gonna use that stuff because it'll just get rotten. We got I have some leftover uh, plywood, so that's uh, part of the chores for today. My neighbor's gonna come over and help me out with that. Um, and then uh, get all that done. I we were insulating yesterday. I gotta put some wall around this is a wind shelter. They're all huddled up there. Let's do it for now. Quite a bit to clean up here. Uh, I gotta do some dump runs here. So, uh, everything uh, out a bit. See, there's ice. I take it out of here just to break it up a bit. See, 
expecting to freeze overnight. It gets pretty cold. Uh, we're going right into winter at deer hunting starting in uh, another week for a muzzle. Right now people are out uh, with their uh, bow. So, I'll be going for uh, muzzle, and I'll be going for rifle, so, um, but I'm hoping to get a deer uh, to replenish the meat in the freezer. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can right now. I'm having neighbors over and stuff like that, and having good cookouts and stuff. And uh, it's kind of a tradition now, every Sunday we get together, and we, uh, uh, my neighbor's wife usually bakes some buns and stuff like that, and, uh, and everybody pitches in a little bit so um, right now it's all about uh, uh, I guess supporting each other and uh, making sure everybody's fed and, and that's sort of the community that I'm trying to build out here and uh, everybody kind of um, leans on everybody and uh, that way it makes it easier especially for the, the younger families like Donald and Nikki and April and Colin and that uh, they're just uh, they get younger children and stuff like that and I've been through that and uh, my daughter's growing up as you know and um, so th those are those are some you know they're they're tough times you know but they're good times great memories but you know if you can help out a little bit and give a hand lending hand uh, that's what all about uh, neighborhoods and stuff like that are about in small towns so I'm sure that happens in the city too um, but uh, that's kind of where I want to build towards and having everything so it's not so tough so but anyways uh i'm gonna get back to work because i gotta put on dinner so pulled pork so what am i doing with that i am putting a uh, can of coke i am putting uh, barbecue sauce i'm putting a uh, wackadoodle of uh uh garlic i got from my um buddy um daryl caskew from cracker jack construction he gave me uh, some uh, garlic earlier on this year and i planted some uh, along this ridge here for a spring crop and uh, so thank you to Daryl for that and he's gonna be coming out hunting with me as well as my buddy Mitch and um, what else uh, oh in the uh, pulled pork I got a little bit sidetracked sorry for that and the pulled pork I'm also gonna put um, well I'm gonna put onions in there of course and uh, I'm going to put uh, oh, what else? maybe a shot of alcohol you never know with me oh well, I'll put some apple juice in there vinegar just to break things up a bit and um, maybe a little bit more brown sugar and stuff like that and um, Worcestershire sauce but really when I make this stuff I just I just wing it so I'm sure it'll taste good uh, my neighbor's making um, a uh, it's called a uh, hash brown casserole my little brother actually made one the other day I texted him his place he invited me over and he's got a nice place that he's got him and uh, his wife to be Amy and uh, his, uh, his buddy uh, Jeb and his, uh, his girlfriend there, uh, Sarah. So I stayed at their place and had a few beers. And then I stayed at my place and had a few beers uh, the next night. And, um, and now I'm out here. So, and I'll be out here for, for good now, I guess. I got a little bit more stuff I got to do in Winnipeg. So, but uh, this, is, this is home. So, so anyways. Glad you guys are uh, watching this, and uh, I'll be putting more stuff on here and stuff like that. But you guys uh, have yourself a great day. Um, I'll be doing uh, more videos, maybe not as long. I'm going to do a, a lot of short videos. I am out in the country here. Uh, still got to get uh, established and stuff like that. And uh, so until that time, I'll be posting medium range videos, I guess, like eight minutes or whatever. I don't know what video time this took, but... Um, I hope you guys are having a good day, a blessed day, and hopefully it's not as cold uh, where you are. So it's it's flipping cold here, but not too bad. So, anyways, you guys have a great Sunday, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, ciao. Oh. Just to show you one more time. I left a, an egg in there, the other ones are getting ready to nest. And so here's the eggs from this morning. This is from this afternoon. There's going to be more this afternoon. So I, I reckon there'll be another 
at least six this afternoon. There is one in there that I left. So anyways, once again, guys, have a great time. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, next time you see us over here at the ranch, hopefully have this all done. Later.